Hey everyone, Derpy here, and I'm going to be going through the fall of the wall rig prizes and stuff that I think are good and what you should get. Share this with anyone you think is going to participate in this raid, especially lower level players who are going to be interested in doing any PvE stuff for the next year, month, whatever. So getting right into it, I'm going to go over all the whole classes first and then go over all the general components and weapons. The assault class here isn't, isn't too great because the only thing it's used for is getting titanium on the map. Uh, Phoenix and Skyfire are both decent holes for this. If you can pick one of them up, if they're reasonably priced, do it. But don't really focus on getting the assault stuff. And you'll probably be able to get all these ships in a TLC anyway. As far as KDs goes, it's pretty much a collector's item, so don't really bother with that. So bottom line on assault, either get the Skyfire or the Phoenix. You can pick either or, but you need a lot of stuff to go on them, and you'll get most of that in TLC anyway. Next tab here, Garrison, probably the most important one. And what you're going to want to do is get the Monolith. Or the icebreaker, I lean toward the monolith because that's the skill hole, and the icebreaker is kind of an auto hole. If you can get a monolith and devils built up with a bunch of nice targets, go ahead and hit stuff, and you'll be able to start getting through your FM in no time. As far as flagships here, Great Iron's monolith, don't bother with it, it's crap. Just get a zealous instead. It's in like tier 2 of the FM. Fosago's icebreaker here, it's decent and buffs your icebreaker fleet, but once again, also available in TLC. So I highly recommend the monolith if you don't have that already. Moving on to Siege here, this is what's going to be the next raid cycle, it's going to be the next couple months, and there's the new Buccaneer hole, and if you can get that, if you can get all the weapons to go with it, go ahead and do that, that will set you up for the next raid cycle. I believe Doomworster said informs this is the auto hole, so it's not going to be the skill hole, but if you can get it, start building it, get some blanks out, I'll have another video out soon telling you my thoughts on that hole, how to build it. Anyway, that's the new auto hole for the next raid format. If you have the Cannoneer or Ironclad, if you get those or build those, you can probably hit tier 2 or 3 maybe in the next raid cycle, but that's not going to be as important as a Forsaken mission. Um, so, high level player, mid level player, if you can afford it, get the Buccaneer. Uh, if not, Cannoneer is probably your next best bet for being able to do well in the raid cycle, but I have not seen these raid targets yet. I don't know if anyone who has. So, just think about this. If you're going to want to participate, just try getting the Cannoneer. But as always, for second mission, Garrison tab, more important than the Siege tab. Moving on to Conqueror here, you have a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go over all of it because a lot of it's kind of outdated. But uh, the bus here, 50 million, pretty useful. King's Raid, kind of useful. Um, one of those newer holes. Rage, Rian's Rage, not super useful at this point. They can be stopped by a bunch of stuff. I haven't done a lot, a lot of PvP recently, but just going over a couple of the holes here. Sloth can be decent. Gluttony is decent if you have the right stuff for it. Twin Blade, like I said, decent. Pride, that's a go out on its way now. All this lower stuff is mostly obsolete at this point, unless you're a low-level player, which I might say get the Fury Vendetta if you're really looking to get to base hidden PvP at low levels. But I wouldn't really bother with any any of this now in today's day, day age in game, I guess I would say. Defender here, um, you have Alpha Behemoth, Valiant, Vanquisher, Carlix Alpha Behemoth, Alpha Behemoth Justice. These are all low-level stuff. They're not going to be super helpful for you. If you're trying to defend mid-level holes, that might work ahead. Courage might also be decent for some low-level stuff, but it gets melted by some of the top holes now. Hope and Omni Behemoth are what you high-level players want to go to defend your base. That's what you want to use. Again, I'm not super interested in PvP or at bait attacking or defending at this point, so there are probably other people who can answer those questions better than I can. Skirmish tab here, this is where it kind of gets interesting. Skirmish is this raid format, and it's going to be on its way out after this, but these targets are probably going to come back as map targets, which we have to get, hit to get your uranium. And what I'm going to recommend if you're a level level player, don't get the Hellrath, don't get any of these shards, get the Tide Seeker and the Harlock's Tide Seeker here, because those holes are what are going to allow you to start hitting those low level targets on maybe auto and gain some decent damage, especially if you're a low level and can't afford the next step, which would be the Hunter. Get the Harlock's Tide Seeker, Tide Seeker, and all the company specials. I'm going to talk about it in a minute. I don't recommend getting the Hellwraith, even if you use the right torpedoes, because you used to drive that, and that's lazy, so it takes a lot of time. If you can jump from the Tide Seeker to the Hunter here, that's a decent alternative. Um, just be aware, because it's kind of long build time. You need to build a pretty substantial fleet. Like you need about four or five at once to hit higher targets. You can't just build one expected to work in the higher targets. Fangtooth is the skill hole. Again, I, that's the one I use. That's the one I drive. I like it a lot. But if you, are you really going to want to spend 50 million on a fa Phantom Fang Tooth and a couple million on the Fang Tooth? Probably not. So if you want to get Uranium, I would definitely get the Harlock's Tide Seeker and the Tide Seeker. General's Tolls, there's nothing offered which really annoys me. I like to see the Zealous, but I understand it is in low tier of the FM, so most players should be able to get that. Now moving on to the More Prizes tab here. Here's the Peak Accelerator Cannon, goes with the 
Buccaneer. Get that if you want to participate in the next raid cycle. It's like a pack, but it has way more damage. The numbers are super cool. Um, flail rockets, PVE stuff. Um, mass argumentation nexus. That's good if you want. Prob that's an option for another special here on the Buccaneer. Um, charge, uh, charge armor here. C one C. That's going to be good if you want to. You're gonna need charged armor again in the raid format, like we've seen. Um, I'm gonna skip all the PVE stuff here. Delirium torpedo is decent for your Fangtooths again, or even if you want to put on some Hellrise or some crazy idea, you can go ahead and do that. Um, more PVP stuff. Talon missile. That's good on your Phoenixes if you're going that route for assault. Um, charge C1 CT. That's good at four million. You can get max of ten. Just get five or one for each ship, however much. Tokens are always good. That's a good move. C1 CO here, that might be an okay choice for you if you're really looking to build a salt fleet, but I wouldn't invest heavily into that right now. Go Garrison instead. Advanced Torpedo Tubes, again, that's good for a skirmish fleet. A uh, bunch of tor tr uh, turrets here, Torp and Mortar, that's decent on Sloss. Build tokens are always great. Um, charge C1M here, that's not that's an important thing to have, but there are a lot of ways to get this in the game. But if you want to pick up one for your FM tank, two for your FM tank, go ahead and do that in this raid if you can. Free million is pretty cheap price. Once again, more tokens, that's always a good thing. D5 CT, go ahead and get that. It works great on Tide Seekers. I have all mine, I have four on them. It's a nice piece. C1X, same thing as the C1M. It's decent, but there are lots of ways to get it. More build tokens. Uh, nice to see a bunch of offers. You can get some blanks out if you're a high level player. Um, these two raid armors have have had their build time reduced just now, and they might be useful for hitting lower tier, mid tier stuff in the next raid. So if you're thinking about um, building cannoneers, hitting level two or level three tier targets, go ahead and do that. Get these get these two armors. Just give you some more options. BXP token, that's always good. Agility system three, that might be interesting. Maybe that's sending a message about what we'll have in the next raid, um, what kind of targets, but we'll have to wait and see. Upgrade stuff that's always decent. I might even get the concussive here because I don't own that, and that's what was released what what four years ago, long time. Um, upgrade speed upgrade. I'm definitely gonna get that one. More tokens. That's good. Um, ironclad build token that might be decent if you're trying to build some ironclads. Uh, scattergun for PVP. Glacial launcher. Hydraulic resistors might be useful for playing around with some weird builds. Scatterguns, whatever. Um, Let's see, base parts, titanium, and uranium are all offered during the raid here, which is really interesting. Uh, I think that's a great move. Uh, might be some other solutions to that that we could also look at, but that's a decent amount. Two million for, what, 10,000, 100,000, 50,000? That's okay. More pelicans, that's nice. Um, don't get the D5SL, it's crap, don't do it. D5X, D5M, decent for the FM, get those. D5CO, might be useful. D5E, kind of useful. Skirmish class token, that's good. I need to rank up my Phantom Fang Tooth because I was lazy, didn't spend coin on the VXP weekend, so I'm going to get a couple of these. Meniscus system, that's good for um, any of your skirmish fleets you might want to build. There's the uranium we talked about, 1.5 million for 10,000. Anyway, um, Clipper missiles, the one skin PvP stuff, bunch of PvP stuff. Gale 3s, get a lot of Gale 3s in the FM. If you don't have any, you're going to want to use those. Let's see. Base defense stuff, kind of decent, just clipping over that. Millennium gun, get it for next raid cycle if you need it. Fire twister, not really useful. Garwood Gatling gun, yes, get that with your Tide Seeker. Tide Seeker, Hollow Seeker, Garland Gatwood gun, uh, advanced torpedo tubes, whatever you want to use here. There's another one coming up in a second, but get that. Get the D5 CT if you're going to be a low level player. Try and get uranium. Let's see, high velocity rounds, good for next raid cycle. Mauser cannon, good for next raid cycle, probably. Here's your mortar for the FM if you're going to get monoliths. Here's a splash vessel for the FM for monoliths. Here's another splash vessel for the FM for the monoliths further down here. Um, let me see, where is that? Here's blade missile. That's decent for the FM spotter missile. Scatter gun, kind of nice, kind of outdated though. Because of gathering gun, good for good for the levels if you're trying to build a revenge, but otherwise not really. Um, Coloxio Filestorm, good mortar again. Let's see. Precision Napalm Detonator, that's what you want to go with your monoliths. Tilt fire charge, kind of useful on skirmish builds these days. Strike warheads, yes for the yes for tide seekers. Get those. Build tide crew seekers with those, and more mission generator PVP stuff. Interception system might kind of be good, and more ship build tokens. So kind of long video here. I just ranted about a bunch of prizes here, but in general, if you're a low level player, focus on the FM. Get the monolith. Get all the mortar stuff you can to focus on building that gales defense systems. Any of those armors that you can. Deep, um, D5X, D5M armors, those will be really good for you. 
Um, if you have all your FM sorted and you're ready to keep going on that one, then focus on your seed for next raid. Get a cannon gear, maybe some low-level ballistic weapons, millennium gun, that kind of thing. And uh, also get your uranium fleets, like you need Tight Seeker, Hollis Tight Seeker, Garble Gatling Gun, um, Advanced Torpedo Tubes, that might be useful. Maybe the uh, Strike Warheads will be more useful, that has a bonus that works. Garble Gatling Gun, that's going to be useful for level low-level players. Um, PvP stuff, did, there's a lot of this in here, but I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i not going to get into that at all really much. Um, as far as Defender goes, there are new options for that. But high-level players, mid-level players, next priority, get that new stuff for next right cycle because that's going to be the auto hole, so go ahead and get that. I'm expecting to see the skill hole offered in a TLC where we have to use our skirmish fleets to get that. So make sure you're really focusing and building them up as much holes as you possibly can. Get out as much many, many points in this race as you can because there are a lot of cool prizes. So if you like this, if you want to share it with someone, go ahead and do that. Hit that like button. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.